Coming up next, who doesn't like the smell of coffee or espresso brewing in the morning, right? I think even if you don't drink it, people love the smell of coffee. I'm gonna tell you my top five favorite coffee fragrances. Coming up next. Almost all of us love coffee, right? Uh, it was something that was an acquired taste for me. When I was growing up, I didn't start drinking coffee until I was in my mid 20s. And it wasn't until I experienced Cuban coffee in Miami that I fell in love kind of with the espresso style, really strong, small cups, usually with a lot of sugar. I drink it with artificial sweetener now because I don't want all that sugar. But Italian espressos, that's what I like. I, I don't like regular coffee, although I love the smell of regular coffee and everything else. And I think most people do. So it is a you know pretty popular component. If you look in fragrances, a lot of fragrances do contain a coffee note or a coffee accord. It doesn't mean it smells like you're wearing coffee. Very few fragrances go that far of actually smelling like an actual brewing coffee. But I think it's also you know very interesting to see how uh, it's you know these notes intertwine. So I thought I'd do a top five coffee fragrance list. And with the exception of one of these, which smells like essentially brewing coffee, the others are more nuanced. And the coffee note is really more just part of the overall fragrance, which gives it an excellent uh, component. Maybe two of them. All right, let's get right into this. I'm gonna go five to one. Coming in my number five choice, and this is the fragrance that smells the most like brewing coffee. A lot of you guys know this. This is, of course, Halloween Man X. Um, and, well, I can show you there. So this is a fragrance that, you know, it's a, this is an eau de toilette. I want to make sure, yeah. So this is an eau de toilette, Halloween Man X. Um, and when you spray this, some people don't get it. They get, you know, this other kind of like chocolatey accord or whatever. This to me purely is, I get this very kind of fresh, clean, bright coffee smell. And as it dries down on my skin, I've talked about it, or I've reviewed this before. For a cheapy, to me, this is one of the better fragrances out there in that cheapy mode. Uh, you know, I think for like a 50 ml bottle, you can get it for 25 bucks, under $30. And you know, it's a great smelling coffee fragrance if you like that. And again, even though it does smell like brewing coffee, a lot of people don't get the smell as much. I do, but it's also very fresh and clean. It's got this kind of, you know, citrusy note. It's got this like almost chocolatey accord, uh, almost like a bourbon or like a, like, you know, kind of like a Jack Daniels type of cord, I think actually is listed in there. So it's very interesting. And I actually like this one. I like to wear this one's very versatile. Again, cheapy, throw on, inexpensive when you just kind of want to run out and run some errands. That's my number five choice. And it is an excellent, excellent coffee fragrance. Um, let's go now to number four. Number four, here we go, is going to be from Therapia. By Aroma, the local indie artisan fragrance house from Miami. Again, a lot of you heard me talk about this. I have more of their fragrances than anything else in my collection because the price is unbelievable. Who of you are who watch my channel, my subs, have not bought some of these? Go on to their website. I'll, I'll if I remember, I'll link it below. But for a, a 15 ml bottle, I think it's ten dollars, and I think for a hundred ml bottle. Uh, I'm sorry, this is, yeah, this is 30 ml. So 30 ml, I believe is $15. I think the 100 ml bottles are like $20. I, you know, it's, you can't beat it. They're excellent gifts also, by the way. But this fragrance, just to show you, so this is my number four choice. This is Peony Coffee Bean. Get in there so you can see it. There you go. Peony Coffee Bean. So what makes this one interesting is it's not, doesn't smell like coffee whatsoever because it smells like the coffee bean. She doesn't have a roasted coffee smell. She actually uses the coffee bean fruit, 
which is, you know, you think about the actual coffee bean, it's like a fruit. And so this has, with combined with that peony, has a very kind of fruity smell. It, it, if you didn't know and you didn't see the name, you would think this is some type of fruity concoction, almost like an Herba Pura from Surjoff. But this is just really excellent. Again, very energetic coffee to me, like everyone else drinks, a lot of people drink coffee for the energy, for the, the boost. This gives that effect coming from that peony coffee bean. It's very energetic fragrance. So again, from Therapia by Aroma, Irene, who's the owner and the perfumer of the house, who's actually teaching me how to make perfumes, and it's just been such an excellent experience. She's the best. Go to their website. It doesn't, again, for the price, you have to try her stuff. To, to work with somebody or to smell somebody who is a true artisanal indie fragrance or perfumer who is actually from France and lived in Grasse, France. So, all right, that's my number four choice. Let's go now to number three. And let's see, number three is, here we go, Divine Infant. Divine Infant from Etat Libre de Orange. Get it. There you go, you can see it. Divine and font. This one is so interesting. It's one of the more unique fragrances I actually have in my collection. And they taught Liberty Orange. They, they just make, everything they do is very, almost outlandish, kind of unique, sometimes shocking. Um, but this one is, is really unique because it's got coffee in there, it's got marshmallow. It just, it just makes me feel different. When I wear this fragrance, you immediately just feel like a different person. This is like one of those transformative ones when maybe you wanna push yourself a little bit, you wanna change your look a little bit, maybe you're gonna wear a different shirt, maybe a different haircut, maybe you're gonna shave. For those of you who've noticed, I've shaved again. Um, it just is, again, it's kind of one of those fun, just like when you feel like being almost like a different personality. And the coffee in there is a really strong, but it, again, you don't really smell it per se like a brewing coffee. You just smell it mixed in there with all these other interesting elements like the marshmallow that give it this just truly unique smell. So again, all these fragrances, one thing they have in common, I think because of that coffee note, they're all very energetic. So I love to wear these, whether it's psychosomatic, meaning because my mind, I know they have coffee and therefore they give me energy. But every one of these five fragrances that I am mentioning today, give me lots of energy and a boost. So I love putting them on in the morning. All right, Divine and Font number three. All right, that leaves us with number two. And my number two fragrance is another one that maybe you weren't aware of having coffee, and that is Udin. Udin from Serjoff. Again, one of my top fragrances of all time. I did a video a month or two ago where I said if I could only pick one fragrance for the rest of my life, this is it. I mean, I put it on the other day when I had a really important meeting to go to. I was like looking through my collection. I'm like, what should I wear? No, this one, no, that. And then I just grabbed this. It's just, it's literally, you can wear it anywhere. And the coffee note comes down in the dry down. Again, it's not something that's gonna be overt. You're not gonna look at this and say, oh, this is a coffee fragrance, like Halloween Man X. That you look at and you know it's a coffee fragrance. Um, my number one choice, I think, you also will know it's a coffee fragrance. This is just it's so well blended. It's got grapefruit, it's got citrus, it's got leather, it's got the coffee. It's just so unique, but it's also a kind of like, I would call this an intermediate freshie because Udin, I'm sorry, Serjoff does a lot of fragrances where they do do some more freshies. And when I say freshie, I mean like, you know, niche level freshie, meaning these are not like your, you know, designer freshies, which to me are, are crap because they're nothing like these. This is like intermediate. It's a little bit more heavy than a typical freshie like Decus or, you know, kind of some of the other more like citrusy fragrances. This is not as heavy as one of the more, you know, oud fragrances, but it's kind of in the middle there. So I think this one hits a great, great uh, common ground. And again, because of that coffee note, whether it's mental or whatever, gives me a lot of energy. And that leads me to my number one fragrance, which I gotta say is a little bit of a shock because when I was compiling this list, I didn't realize it was gonna be my number one, but it, it is. And this is from the Indie House, 
Niche House Pre-Production Perfumery. This is DLI. Oh, it just came out of focus. There we go. DLI. I don't know if you could read the notes there. I had them up there, but this is Espresso Tobacco Warm Vanilla. All I can say is this is espresso. This is <laughs> lavazza. This is like getting a fresh Italian espresso. Oh man, I'm gonna compare the two here. Oh, it's amazing. I, you know, I, there's a lot of coffee fragrances out there. I'm not aware of a lot of espresso fragrances. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I drink espresso, not regular coffee. So it's whether it's Cuban coffee, which is espresso, or Italian espresso, that's all I drink. So this fragrance to me was an absolute home run. And it was actually given to me by Jason, one of my subscribers a few months ago who turned me on to this house. And I'm so thankful he did because now I've got a bunch of their bottles and I love it. They're just so creative. Every fragrance is based on a kind of like a mythical Hollywood story, like a, a movie and just really cool stuff how they do it. But this one to me, I mean, I let a bunch of people smell it. Everyone gets the espresso right off the bat and they're all kind of shocked. Like they've never exactly smelled anything like that. So go check them out. I mean, I, I know they're always running specials. They just were during the holidays. They may still be running haul, uh, specials where you can get some discounts on their product. But I mean, you can get samples, but the bottles, these are like 50 ml or 30 ml bottles, depending on, just try it out. Try it out, excellent fragrance. And especially if you like espresso, it's my number one choice. So thanks for watching guys. This is Joel The Nose. I'll be back soon with another video. Hope you're doing well during the holidays. Hope you're having a great time and uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, and perfumes.